it's Aaron, and today we'll be going through the solution for Brass Monkey 4. This puzzle is level 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. Okay, so this is a pretty insidious puzzle. <laughs> so to start with, we're going to find our pin that has no grooves cut into it. Kind of the traditional for this type of burp puzzle, I guess you could call it. The slotted pipes or whatever. Normally this piece isn't really locked in. You could just slide it out, but this one's special. So this piece above it, and you can tell that this is the one I mean by the fact that it has just the smallest little bit of a, uh, a crack where these are perfectly milled smooth. This one, you can see that there's just a little bit of a difference between this outer piece and this inside. You can also tell it's the piece by being able to rotate it. And when you rotate it, it will come out one of the sides. Now, this is a whole maze internally. The maze is cut into the pin and this piece at the bottom here that has no grooves cut into it has one groove with a pin in it and this piece goes through it. We will see when I take it apart. I've drawn out the maze and the maze is relative to its position. So when I move it like so, that means we're going deeper into the maze. So this piece coming so at the start of it, this uh, dotted line I put through the puzzle, that's with both ends being flush. So we actually have to come out the other end to enter this track. We actually start right here and there's no side to side movement. So we're going to rotate it and enter this main track. So we rotate it until it comes out this one end. Now we're in this main top track. We're going to rotate it all the way to the one side, and then we'll back it off just a little bit. So we can't push it in, and then we'll just back it off, and that will allow us to push it in and we'll be flush again and then we want to continue to twist it till we come out the other side and this means we are currently right here so we will back it off a little and then go into this and just keep following so down a little. And rotate it. And I can feel that we passed that bump. So we will now go all the way down. And at the bottom, we won't be able to move very much. So we will lift it back up. Just a little bit. And we will rotate it now and pull it forward. Rotate. And now I'm stuck in the bottom of this. So I want to push it in. So now I'm at the bottom of here. So I can't, I'm all the way to the side and I'm stuck into here. So I'm trying to push it in 
So I'll back it off a little bit. And then it will I feel like I might be lost. Okay. <laughs> this is a very difficult maze. I also wish I had a nicer drawing of it. Okay, so I'm I think I'm back here actually. Yeah, this yeah, I've moved into here. Can't do that. So I back it off. And now it's just about all the way in again. Am I turned around again? Ooh, this is such a difficult maze. At least once I get it apart, you guys can see it. It is a horrific maze. Am I all the way back at the start? I might be back at the start. No, I can't be that far. Okay, I think I'm back over here. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm just going to get this thing open now. <laughs> I don't think my step-by-step -step is really helping anything. I think a slow rotation of uh, the map of this thing would probably be the best. There we go. <sighs> So once we get to this point, we can rotate and this falls out. We can see our pin and we can see this horrific maze. So this is the finish line. We came over here. Came over here, around, back. This is a little divot that gets you stuck. Yeah, this is just a difficult one. Back around, up. And this is the start. So, this being the start, this being the end. I will now just give a nice easy rotation. Oh, close up. So our start, our end. This might be more useful footage than the first nine minutes of this video, for sure. Hopefully this helps. So the rest of the puzzle isn't difficult at this point, it just falls apart. Yeah, we have all our pieces. So putting it back together, we will keep our piece like this at the bottom. We will grab the only one with two slots in it. And this will go at the top.
we will place one of our three slots, canoe between those two. And then we will slide our other three slot pieces down like so. And that will make this. And then we have to insert our maze, which we will just line up our, our groove. This isn't going to be easy to kind of show on camera, but you just line up all the, all the grooves and then you just slide this in. And this has to be facing down into the rod. And then it being back together, we now have to traverse the maze again. So we push this in and rotate it. So now we're in here. We're at the bottom. Push it in. We're now here. We are now here. We push it in flush. So we're now here. I have to rotate it while it's flush. Uh, uh, <laughs> grabbing the wrong piece. <laughs> okay. Rotate it till it comes out the other side. So now we're here. And just rotate it all the way till you bump over here. And we shouldn't be able to push it in. It should feel locked. That's because we're all the way at the end. So then we'll back it off until it drops down. And then we'll go back that direction. And when it's locked, it shouldn't move at all. So we're back to the start. Well, that was a doozy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube channel. Haven't had enough? Join our community on Facebook or Instagram. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.